NFL free agency is right around the corner. It actually starts next week. Legal tampering on Monday officially opens on Wednesday. Let's go. And the Vikings have a need at guard, uh, unless they trade for Orlando Brown. I don't know. Uh, But this is one of the deepest guard classes in NFL history, aided by the fact that the Giants recently let go Kevin Friggin Zeitler, who the Vikings apparently had trade interest in in 2019 in the day and pff pro football focus they did their list of the top free agents and they said vikings zeitler perfect match Whew, let's go number 40 overall kevin zeitler 40 that's an insult but drinking 40s i like a prediction minnesota vikings giants general manager dave gettleman hand the vikings general manager rick spielman a gift in the form of zeitler's release it won't be a surprise to see minnesota open up cap space to sign a guard of Zeitler's caliber. The position was a liability for the team in 2020 with the team's guards combining for a 37.2 pass blocking grade over five grading points worse than any other NFL team. It's a little harsh. Zeitler is clearly not nearly as strong of a player as he once was in Cincinnati and Cleveland, but he would be a significant upgrade for the Vikings. He has generated the fifth 15th most war, what is it good for, by a guard over the past two seasons and ranks eighth among right guards in PFF grade over that same span. So, yes, it will be an absolute upgrade over Drew Samia, over Dakota Dozier, over Pat Elfline, and it would free up Ezra Frick and Cleveland to move from right guard, where he's playing opposition, to left tackle, where he could become one of the better left tackles in the game. He's absolutely ready to go, Peacock ready to fly, and I would love it. Uh, Because Zeitler, uh, even at his age, does have some good football left in him. Plus, he wouldn't cost as much as Joe Thune. I think Joe Thune is still going to get $15, $60 million per year. If you told me that Zeitler got about eight. Uh, given that teams are strapped uh, against the cap, as well as there is a number of really good guards on the market this time around, so that could drive down prices, I'm in. I I am absolutely in. And I I think that he would be... uh, well, he wouldn't be Steve Hutchinson you know, signing back in 2006, but would he be a slight upgrade over Josh Klein signing in 2019? Yeah, I, I certainly think so. Plus, he would bring an attitude, a stoutness. Kevin Zeitler ain't, ain't taking no poop off anyone, and I, I like that. I love it. He's not necessarily scheme fit. Do not care. Do not care. It, it's like we talked about with Zeitler and Gabe Jackson where, hey, Let's change our scheme. Change our scheme from a a lot of uh, outside zone to I'm about to whip somebody's ass. And Zeitler brings some leadership on that offensive line as well. Plop him in a right guard in between Bradbury and O'Neal and just solidify that thing. Ezra is going to be the dancing bear unicorn at left tackle. Woo! Let's go. And then into the draft, get yourself a brand new left guard. AVT, Elijah Bear Tucker, Christian Derrissaw playing at guard. I don't know. We're just talking out loud. Trey Smith from Tennessee. Landon Dickerson maneuver in the second round. Go get him. Boom. Let's rebuild this damn thing. And the Zeitler one, it just makes too much sense. It, it does. He's not going to be overly expensive. He's not going to cost uh, count against 2022 compensatory picks. And there was interest before with Spielman and the Vikings. So, please, please make this happen. Absent Joe Thune, and frankly, at about half the cost of Joe Thune, Maybe Zeitler does make some more sense, and you can save some cap, throw it at Daniil or Harrison Smith or other free agents TBD, but let's just check this box. Get this one done. And remember, since Zeitler was cut, he can sign right now, like today. The Vikings can sign him and head into free agency way ahead of the curve. Just get this thing done. But hmm. uh, your thoughts, PFF, Vikings, Zeitler make it happen let us know in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes want to support that work pull some of the venmo but until next time skull production value